<clears throat> What's up, everybody? We're on episode 16 right here. Everything Wrong with Thomas the Train, Commentaries, Season 2, Donald and Douglas, also known as Break Van. We hope you're going to enjoy this amazingness. Like I said, we're going to be finishing up Season 2 as much as you know. Try to finish it up as quickly as I possibly can so that way we can move on to the amazingness of the other seasons of the show. So let's get rolling. Get right into this. You know how the things go. Yeah, yeah. Donald and Douglas are twins and had arrived from Scotland to help Sir Topham Hatt, but only one engine had been expected. The twins meant well, but did cause confusion. This show's got Scottish trains in it, man. Oh, I'm loving it already, man. It's so much more enjoyable now that they got Scottish trains. Sir Topham Hatt had given them numbers. Donald 9 mm -hmm. and Douglas mm -hmm. 10. Mm -hmm. But he was still mm -hmm. planning to send mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. home. There was a brake van in the yard that had taken a dislike to Douglas. Things always went wrong when he had to take it out. His trains were late and he was blamed. Douglas began to worry. Donald, his twin, was angry. You're a muckle nuisance, said Donald. It's to leave you behind I be wanting. You can't, said the brake van. I'm essential. Ah, are you, Donald burst out. You're nothing but a screeching and a noise when all's said and done. Spite doggy, would you? Take that! Oh! Oh! cried the van. There's more coming should you misbehave. They always find these really random characters that just hate the trains and just want to try to, you know, make the trains lives miserable for like no reason at all. Like this brake van and how we saw earlier with Diesel, you know, just hating duck and you know getting duck in trouble for no reason like it's always crazy seeing how they get all these random characters and trying to make the trains lives miserable for them for no reason at all it's just you know that's what makes this show entertain entertaining is the conflicts that the trains always ha have to face you know like facing with other characters or facing themselves and facing of course with the boss man sir topham hat What's really funny though, they had a story about the two Scottish trains, Donald and Douglas, where they decided to uh, play a trick on the boss man by uh, changing the number, uh, changing their tenders. So like, you know, how it said that Donald is nine and Douglas is 10. Well, they swapped it so that way Donald was number 10 and Douglas was nine because they ended up uh, making a big mistake themselves on their own part. It was a story that was called, it was in the Railway series. It was called The Missing Coach. And it, they basically added a thing where Thomas had it. Thomas had his, like this really super special coach along with Annie and Clarabelle. And one of the twins, the Scottish twin, then ends up, you know, putting uh, the coach in a siding by mistake. So they decided to try to trick, trick the the boss man by you know swapping the the their tenders with each other, but of course the boss man is so clever that he ends up you know finding out who is who, even with you know even even though they thought that he was you know gonna get himself confused, but he didn't confuse he didn't get confused at all. So that that was pretty. That was a pretty interesting story. Of course, you know this doesn't happen at all on the TV show because they just decided not to add that story into the TV show at all for some crazy reason. So, uh, yeah, but we're gonna see the other problems that you know the two Scottish trains face in this episode and the next one that I'll be doing as well. The van behaved better after that. Until one day, Donald had an accident. The rails were slippery. He couldn't stop in time. And here's one of the, you know, many conflicts that, you know, 
as you're seeing right now that he's going to be facing about crashing into the signal box. Donald wasn't hurt, but Sir Topham Hatt was most annoyed. I am disappointed, Donald. I didn't expect such mm, clumsiness from you. I had decided to send Douglas back and keep you. I'm sorry, sir, said Donald. I should think so, too. You have upset my arrangements. Now James will have to help with the goods work while you have your tender mended. James won't like that. Sir Topham Hatt was right. James grumbled dreadfully about extra work. Now James is going to be in an even worse mood than he already is. And, you know, he's just, like, going to be like, like, get away from my face. Like, I hate everybody now because no one understands me in my life and all my problems. Like, he's going to act that sort of way, basically. <laughs> Anyone would think, said Douglas, that Donald had had his accident on purpose. I hear tell about an engine and some tire wagons. Shut up, said James. It's not funny. He didn't like to be reminded of his own accident. Well, well, well. Surely, James, it wasn't you. You didn't say. James didn't say. He slouched sulkily away. James is cross, snickered the spiteful brake van. We'll try to make him crosser still. Hold back giggled the freight cars to each other. James did his best, but he was exhausted when they reached Edward's station. Luckily, Douglas was there. Help me up the hill, please, panted James. These freight cars are playing tricks. We'll show them, said Douglas. Boom, boom, boom. Slowly but surely, the snorting engines forced the freight cars up the hill. But James was losing steam. I can't do it! I can't do it! Leave it to me! shouted Douglas. The conductor was anxious. Now you're going to see something really crazy that's about to happen while Douglas is trying to help James up the hill with the trucks. Something just really messed up and crazy is about to happen. You're about to see right here in a couple of minutes. This is like the like one of the most craziest scenes that ever happens in this show. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's just another one of those over the top things that's just like like bang like yeah man. Go steady. The van's breaking. The van was in pieces. I'll go back a little bit so that way you can see it better. Shouted Douglas. The conductor was anxious. Go steady! The van's breaking! The van was in pieces. No one had been hurt, and soon Edward came to clear the mess. Sir Topham Hatt was on board. I might have known it would be Douglas, he said. Douglas was grand, sir, said Edward. James had no steam left, but Douglas worked hard enough for three. I heard him from my yard. Two would have been enough, said Sir Topham Hatt. I want to be fair, Douglas, mm. but I don't know. I really don't know. Sir Topham Hatt was making up his mind about which engine to send away, but that's another. Now he's trying to think, you know, what he, sh what he should do with these two twins. Because, you know, since they both had something very drastic happen to them... You know, first Donald, Donald crashing into the signal box, and now Douglas, who was trying to help James, ends up just like smashing the brake van into pieces. Man, it was lucky that the per the guy that was inside the van ended up jumping out, because you know he would have been crushed, man. He would have been crushed. So you know he's trying to think. You know, should I give these two another chance or? You know, what should I do with these two crazy twins? 
So, you know, we're going to find out in the next episode what's going to happen. Hope you all enjoy. Get the greatness. Have the amazing times. We'll see you in the next one. Woo! Yeah, man! We're going to have the greatness every day. Whenever we can, yeah. And you already know how it goes, man.